purpose does this serve for the community? It brings the message of Hanukkah to the world. The message of Hanukkah being light, should triumph over darkness, and freedom and peace should triumph over evil and war. And sometimes, in order to attain peace, Fight a war as the Maccabees did. And they defeated the mighty Syrian Greeks. And here we are over 2,000 years later still celebrating how with life, with music, with the menorah, representing the Europe of the oil. Celebrate Hanukkah here in the United States of America is a symbol of Jewish pride and Jewish identity, and that we should be and that we can be comfortable in our Judaism in this country and practice in the most free, free fashion possible. It's a very interesting cultural dichotomy. In the midst of universal Hollywood, we have a celebration of Hanukkah. The reaction that we get here every year is truly amazing. It's an event that's talked about all year. And many thousands of people come here on a yearly event to celebrate Hanukkah with us. Ben Shapiro from KRLA 870 said to me, what I love about this is Jewish pride. Judaism that's not proud doesn't do anything for me or anyone else. If you want kids to grow up and to continue to the next generation, Judaism must be done in a way which is proud. And what, I what he said, I love about this, is this is Judaism at its best. Proud and strong. What does it mean, you think, to have something so public? Is it good or bad it's for It's actually, it's wonderful. It tells a Jew that you can be comfortable being Jewish in America, and you can do whatever you want and rise to any heights in the society and your values and your traditions and your principles are still going to be respected. Great. If you go I just online, texted, I just texted my aunt. She lives in California. She's not here right now. I said, Aunt Rachel, I'm outside your house. Where are you? So she goes, who is this? I said, Moshe, your nephew. I'm knocking. She says, I'm so sorry. We went to Palm Springs for the weekend. Do you need a place to sleep? I'm so sorry. Well, there existed great strife amongst the Jews. There were those that felt that were quite secular, the Hellenists, and they felt they should go along with the Greek mythology. But the, uh, the more, let's say, right-wing and religious Jews refused to give in, and thank God for that, because today, even the most secular of Jews has a Hanukkah to celebrate, along with everyone else. Thank you.